Hello everyone, it's Jennifer, and thank you so much for joining me today. I have the Market Fresh Mini Mix in Orange Bell Pepper, which is one of my favorite mixes from Jesse James Beads, because not only do you have all the orange, but you have some copper, you have some gold, and you have lots of tassels. I think there's six different tassels in here. Love them. However, though, I'm not going to be using them in today's projects. We are going to be making a couple of pairs of earrings. One of them I already made up, uh, one of them, and so I need to make the matching pair. The other one I just kind of eyeballed, so we'll uh, put those together, and then I have a bracelet. The first one I want to do, let's go ahead and do this one first. This one brings in some copper and um, some antique copper. Everything is from the mix, except for the head pins and the ear wires. And four tools, we're gonna need uh, chain nose pliers, cutters, round nose pliers, and then a secondary pair if you want them. All right, and I have the hiccups. So if it gets a little choppy, I have the hiccups. I always have something happening, right? So uh, it is late on Monday night and I am just trying to get some get some projects in that I've had on my mat and just super excited to be using this one and I can't wait for you to see them. So uh, let's grab a head pin and I'm using a bald head pin. You can use whatever kind you wish, but this is just gonna be really, really easy. Grabbing one of those square crystals, then a bead cap and I'm gonna do it face up and then let one of these pearls sit in the center there, see? Super cinchy, right? Okay, then I'm gonna come in with my chain nose pliers, and these are thinner, they're probably maybe 21 gauge, and so I'm gonna go all the way down to the tippy tip, and then I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers and form that over the top there. I'm gonna hold on to it and then rotate, and then I need to push that to the back, and it actually looks pretty centered. Then I'm gonna come in with my chain nose pliers. I just kind of lock it in place a little bit so that I can get that closer. Then I'm just gonna give it three simple wraps. Not simple wraps, but three wraps around. And I'm okay if it's a spinner. I'm perfectly fine with that because I don't wanna get things too tight and then end up breaking something. So um, sometimes I do like to get in there tight if I know that I have some wiggle room on what I'm working on, but I'm okay with this one. I'm moving around a little bit. And get that closed up there. Then I'll open up my ear wire. And Open that up and then close it up. And I'm in love with these earrings. I didn't know how they would turn out, but they are super, super cute. Okay, just simple, just very simple. And again, look at, I'm gonna be making three projects and look, I still have enough for, I know I have enough for another bracelet, probably a pair of earrings too. So push that off to the side and there we go. So then we'll go ahead and do this one more time with adding our head pin, our bead cap, and our pearl. Then we're gonna come in at the tippy tip. Give it a bend, 90 degree angle bend. And we'll come in. Form that over, hold on to that, and then push it to the back, and then get that all nice and centered. Come in with your chain nose pliers. Just get that locked in place so that you can get a little closer. And then we're gonna wrap around. So yeah, you're not gonna hear a lot of outside noise because it is really late, or I should say very early. Um, it's in the middle of the night here. But 
I wanted to come over and get these done because I have been looking at them and I have been wanting them. All right, so that I can start wearing them, right? Okay, and then there we go. And again, I'm perfectly fine with them being little spinners. I'm cool with that. Oop, and I just lost a bead. I probably should take those off because when I move my, my mat, Okay, so there we go. Easy peasy, right? And I made both. I made both earrings. And how much time? Not that much time. And very minimal waste. It's just head pin waste. So cool about that. All right. So we're gonna push these over to the side and bring in our second project. Now this project I already did one, and because I didn't know if it would work or not, and. It did, and I was super, super stoked. And so, wait, what side is the, yep, this is the front. And what I did was, in the mix, this is all from the mix, with the exception of the wire and the ear wire, but we had these little drops, and so I just made a little loop and then did a real big, messy wrap down here, added a couple more beads, and then did a bulky wrap up here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make the the match to this one here. And in that piece of wire, I only had that much waste. Well, because I was kind of working from the spool, so I shouldn't be too bragging, too much bragging. I'm back. I was battling those hiccups and I couldn't get them to go away. So I decided just to take a break away and try to get rid of them. And I did. So um, I have some 24 gauge, I think this is 24 gauge German style wire. This might not be enough. When I pull, I pull from the spool. And so it might not be enough. And I am going to try this using the orange beads on the side and then just having these come up the side. And I could even add maybe seed bead. Maybe I can add a seed bead in between. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll add a couple of seed beads in between. So let's go ahead. And what are these seed beads? These are some 11-0 Toho seed beads. And this one is Caramel Creamer. And we'll go ahead and use those. We'll see how those work out. I'm gonna follow that same pattern on this one here, but just at the end, I am going to, um, or in between the bike, uh, the this last cube bead and the drop bead, I'm gonna add seed beads and I can already tell I'm gonna love it. Yep, love it. Okay, that's what I was missing on this one. And I almost just took it apart but then I thought, no, I'll just keep it because it's okay. I can just make another one if, if I decided that I was gonna make a change. All right. Now what I wanna do is I wanna bring those ends together and I don't want gap. I don't want a gap. So I'm just gonna pull, I'm holding down on the long strand and pulling with the short strand, okay? And if things are not aligning correctly or if I don't have a perfect circle um, for my little dangles here, that's okay because we're gonna, we will get that all nice and formed up, okay? Because we can just maneuver and scooch and do whatever we need to do. All right, I'm gonna trim off that little piece. It's kind of about the size of my other one that I had. Almost, look at that. Okay, and then I do wanna tuck that in because I don't want it to poke out at anybody. So I'm probably not on camera, but I'm trying to poke that down a little bit. Okay, now let's make sure that it's looking okay. 
I get to go to the eye doctor this week and I'm so excited. And I'm gonna take that off so I can add the rest. I'm so excited because I like wearing contacts. I haven't been able to because my contact, my contact, um, the prescription for them, it's really bad. And so they don't really work anymore. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I just thread that on just like I did this other one. And I do like it. I like it a little bit better with the little seed bead in there. So I will redo that. Okay, now what I wanna do is add a wire wrap loop up here in the top. And I don't want a long neck. And I could very easily just fold it over but I do want to have it. I did four wraps down and then I came back up and I really like that look. So I'm gonna add my round nose pliers, form that over, I'm gonna rotate my wrist, I'm gonna push this to the back and then I'm gonna rotate, roll my wrist just to get that nice and centered. Okay, so now what I wanna do Let's get my chain nose pliers there on my loop and go around one, two, three, and then start coming up. That fourth one is me starting to come back up and then two and then three. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of a trim. Okay. And then, since this little guy is up here kind of all by himself, I like to add my chain nose pliers in there and then try to pinch that down with my chain nose pliers there because what happens is I end up getting a little too bossy and then I take that end tail and I end up poking it through the, the, uh, the loop and so I find that if I just bring this secondary pair of pliers up right next to it and then come in with the, just the very tippy tip of my chain nose pliers, I don't do that. And I normally do. So that right there is success. Okay, now we'll just add our ear wire. And these ear wires were leftovers from a JJB event. I can't remember which one it was. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna redo this one so that I can take a picture, but that's what we have. Cute, huh? Okay, so now we're gonna come back for our uh, bracelet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move these things off and we'll come right back. So we're back to the mat and I changed. So for one thing, I have a seed bead sitting in here. Wait, maybe it's in this one. Yep, it's in this one. I have a seed bead rolling around in there, so I'll have to get that out. So that scratched my thought of having four with seed bead in between. And I did think, oh, well, I can just add, I found some six -o seed, or eight-o seed beads. However, though, I'm gonna use these on the end. And then I found this ring that is a textured ring, and I'm going to attach it to my chain with this big thick well it's not big it's four millimeter but it's 18 gauge jump ring i did grab some wire guardians here's my lobster clasp i'm not going to add my lobster clasp directly to my bracelet and here's why if this happens to stop working i'd have to take apart my entire necklace however though if i have it attached with the jump ring that's all I have to change. So one of the other things that I like about using the 80C bead is that I can bring that I can bring my wire back through. I like to bring my wire back through. I for me, I just feel like it tucks in there nice and neatly and it helps when I am um doing my crimping because we're going to use magical crimpers. Now, these little guys here are from my own stash. And I found those because, yes, I am ramping up the old kit production here in the studio. And as it stands now, I have six earrings. Yeah, six earrings. 
six earrings and I have, I'm gonna add one of these little caramel creamer seed beads here on this end. I have, um, what else do I have? I have, so six pairs of earrings. I have four or five bracelets and I have four or five necklaces. Can't remember. And what I'll do is I will release them. And if they're, if, if one is just not a simple stringing um, assembly, then I will make a video for them. And we're just gonna continue adding. So this is what we have so far. And let's go here, here, and here. And I wanna just give it another look because I did the thicker end on the side, thicker end on the side. I have my seed bead in between. Here we go, here we go. And since I took this one bead out, that's why I was adding this in, just to give it a little bit more length. And I am going to check to see how much length I have now because I might have to add them back in because that is looking awful short. So let me come right back. And it is very short. So I am going to add these in. Okay, and this is the one that has a seed bead in it. All right, and so we're gonna add these. We're gonna go ahead and add them because I am gonna need that length. Okay, so then it's gonna look like that. And I'm I'm actually kind of digging nothing in between there. So, and this is for me. So I will like that, unless I decide to give it away. I don't know, a friend might get it as a gift. All right, and I'm gonna continue on, then with the rondelle, then with my kind of a, I don't know if this is like a, um, it's not a daisy spacer, but it's like a, it has like a daisy spacer, and then on the ends, on the ends of them, they have on the insides and outsides, it has like a rope type ring, it just makes them really pretty adds a little bit of dimension to your pieces. Now I will wire wrap directly onto this ring and it was cute. I don't know where I got these, but it says on the, on the, on the tag, it says uh, mostly closed, which I thought was kind of cute. Okay. I realized that I had my overhead light on here in the studio and it was making some shadows. So I apologize for that. Let's put these guys away. And I keep all of my seed beads and my little needles here, all in this little, this was a garbage box that my friend Teresa had made for me. And it's too cute to be a garbage box. So I keep my JJB seed beads in here and they just stay right here on my desk in my little work area. She is going to retire, I think, probably. Okay, so I think it's her retirement is December 2025. So hopefully she will start making those in her retirement and selling them. I would love for her to do that. Okay, so I have my 2x2 two two crimp tube, and this is copper. And then I have an antique copper wire guardian because I want to protect this wire, even though it's nice and thick and it's coated perfectly, I just want it to stay that way. Then I'm gonna add my ring before, get that on there. Might have to scooch this wire guardian open a little bit so I can get that in there. There we go. And scooch it closed just a little bit. I don't want it to get I want it to be free. Then we're gonna add our wire back through that two by two crimp tube. Make sure your wire is inside the little canal of the wire guardian. I'm gonna use my two, my um, magical crimpers that just have the one well, because I want that bead-like finish. 
and I'm going to crimp down and I get the four corners. Then I'm going to turn it on its side and then start just turning it around. And, to, and I do this until I feel no tension. And when I feel no tension, I know that that's perfectly rounded. And I'm not feeling any tension. And so we get this bead-like finish so we don't have to um, we don't have to add a grip cover if you don't want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through just a little bit. And I do that just because I want my bead to sit centered on here. If I cut off one of the ends, it goes a little cattywampus. And again, not a big deal. You don't have to do that. I do. It's probably wrong, but that's what I do. But then for this side, so I'm gonna go ahead and trim off this side. But for this side here, the reason why I like to pass it back through is then I can hold on to it a little bit. So I'm gonna add my two by two crimp tube. I'm not adding anything directly to this side. So just a, just a little tip or lesson learned type thing is that when I am going to be adding directly on to my wire guardian, I tend, and I'm gonna pass this back through and then I'm gonna pass it back through the seed bead and maybe through that rondelle if I can. Let's see if I can get it to go through the rondelle. Yep. And why um, I like to add, okay, I'm gonna back up. What I like to do is when I know that I'm gonna be adding something directly to the piece, I will try to do that first because then if I forget with this one, I have another chance. So that's why. Then you notice I'm keeping this all nice and coiled as I'm trying to figure out the spacing and I keep it coiled so that, cause you can see when I, when I air it all out or when I straighten it all out, there's room in between there. But when I move it and shape it to the way it's gonna be on my wrist, that all goes away. And that's why I like to do this. And sometimes I will hold on to it. And then I just know that I have enough room. So now what I wanna do is I wanna get my two by two crimp tube right in the middle there, but I do not want to be sitting on top of that seed bead and I do not wanna sit on top of my wire guardian and I'm gonna give it a squeeze, okay? Then I'm gonna turn it on its side and now start going around. And then what I can do is I can open this up and it frees everything up a little bit. It's just that initial little squeeze and I don't feel any um, any resistance and then I'm gonna come in right here give it a trim and that's all hidden it's all hidden in there and if it wasn't I the reason why I went all the way down through the rondelle is because this has a nice large hole and I could very easily poke it in now the thing is is when I do this it's not coming out anywhere. It's not coming out up here. And so it's just a thicker bead. And that's why I did that. All right. And here's my waist. Not that much, huh? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our lobster clasp onto one side. Those are thick. Okay. Then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a close. Get that in there, they are thick. They close up nicely. Then on this side, I'm using that nice thick jump ring again. Never, never like go chintzy on your jump rings. Don't go chintzy on your jump rings or your crimp tubes. Okay, and get that in there. Oh, it's not wanting to go. Man, I'm gonna have to force it in there. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do, but oh, I didn't get a good grip on it, but there, hey, there we go. 
and then I could just finish it off. Oh my goodness, then if you wanted to add, so you can either, I made sure of this too, was that I made sure that this would go on here. So you can either add it to the loop or you have your little extender. And if you have, if you don't wanna make, so say you didn't make, um, well, say you didn't make these earrings and you have this extra pearl, you can dangle a pearl off of there. Or if you didn't make these earrings and you can dangle one of those crystals off or some of these um, other little crystals, you can dangle those off too. But there we go, there it is, love it. So here we have our three projects, very minimal waste. I think this is all the waste, except for the two little ends for the head pins here. And so we made a bracelet, pair of earrings that I absolutely love. We have another pair of earrings here, which I'm going to make the match to. We still have so much more that we can do with this mix. And again, we are using the Market Fresh Mini Mix in Orange Bell Pepper. Please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment, I'd love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.